Hello guys, hello again YouTube. Today I am back with a brand new video. This video is going to be my winter try on haul. Although I don't have a lot of pieces here. But like I told you guys, I don't really shop like I used to back in the days over the last few years. I've kind of like cut my closet down. Very, very small, very minimal, which is why I wear only neutral colors mostly, except for when I go on vacation. That's kind of like my time to experiment and go a little bit crazy with color. When it comes to every day, uh, my wardrobe is <laughs> almost one color, which is like beiges and camels. I don't even wear black like that. I don't really like to wear black because I find black to be a little bit too harsh on, on me. I like to wear colors that are like softer and more feminine anyways. So which is why I love camel because camel always, always look good on me. It looks like I have Let's get started. Just like I said, I don't really have a lot of pieces. They're just like things that I am missing in my wardrobe. Things that I think that I need that I'm going to be wearing over and over again. I do have two things on here that are, that are gifted to me. So I'm going to leave those at the end of the video. I just wanted to show them to you because whether or not they were sent to me, those are pieces that I would actually buy. I, I was gifted some other ones, so I'm not even going to include those because... Again, I always want to be very, very honest with you. Why don't we go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start with accessories. Also, there is going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to see how you can enter and when if you are interested. US only. Sorry, I do want to do an international giveaway very soon. I don't think I've done a lot of giveaways on this channel. And also... I'm from a third world country so all my stuff were always given to my mom and then she send them back home anyway so it's kind of like my giveaway but at the same time I do want to do more giveaway on here for you because you guys have been supporting me you know some of you for you know, I do want to say thank you for your support and I'd like to do more giveaway on this channel okay. I'm going to start with the accessories and I am missing something I'm going to start with hats because you guys know I love hats when I did my last haul I ordered these hats and they didn't come yet so this is the Juno Boater hat from lack of color you guys know I love hats I think I have the perfect head for hats I don't know I think it fits my personality my lifestyle I just love love a hat Although I'm not big on accessories, I think hat is my number one accessory that I know I can always count on to add that oomph to like my outfits and all that stuff. And also, I just look a lot cooler with hats. Like, take a look guys. You see how cute I, I look instantly? This is an ivory color. This one is called the Juno Border Hat from Lack of Color. Again, this is the hat that I wore when I was in DC with Deb. That's the one Deb ordered. I tried it on, I wore it to shoot my outfit there and then I fell in love and I knew I had to order it. Although I have the same color, but in the fedora style, it's called the Ivory Rancher. Um, if I had to, oops, don't get dirty now. If I had to pick between my Ivory Rancher, actually, for comparison sake, let me just, so if I had to pick between those two hats, I would go ahead and go with the Fedora style, which is the Ivory Rancher. That's uh, one of the first ones that I ordered. I just love this one. I think this one kind of like fits my head a lot better. Um, so this is the Ivory Rancher. And then this is the Juno Boater. As you can see, they both <clears throat> have different purpose. They both have different... Style. I feel like this one, this one is very versatile. I can dress it, I can just make it casual, I can also make it super classy and dress. As opposed to this one, I think it only goes with like a certain look. It has to be kind of like really, really up there when it comes to the Juno board. If I had to pick one, I would go with the Ivory Rancher. But again, I think they just like each serve different purposes. So I like them both. The hat that I got, um... That you guys saw in what I uh, what I packed for Miami video is a straw um, hat. They do have another straw one that I want to order for my next trip. Love lack of color. They make the best hats. It just fits my head 
really really nicely and I think I'm going to order the other one and perhaps it will go on what I am packing for where I'm going next. This is just like a simple straw hat for every day to go to the beach or any warm weather vacations that you go into. When it comes to other accessories, I got one bag. Yeah, I'm not the biggest person when it comes to bags. Last year, end of 2018 and 2019 were like the year where I started loving bags and adding bags to my wardrobe and outfit, kind of like collecting a little bit more bags because I'm looking at my stud bags over here and I do have quite a few. This is the most bags that I've had really. This one I have it in a black from Zara. I've been looking for the white version for the longest time. I wanted like the exact same one. Let me get the other one again for comparison sakes. Because I hate when someone tells you they have something in another color. But then again they don't show you to you side by side. So this is the first one that I bought. I bought this one um, over a year ago for $30 on sale at Zara. And... People can, cannot believe still that I got it from them for that cheap. It's one of their very, very well-made pearl bag in black. This bag, I take it everywhere with me, wherever I'm going to like a gala or like an event or even to like blogging events. That's the bag that I always reach for. But since I don't like a lot of black accessories, I need to stop buying black stuff because I don't even shoes. I don't really wear black shoes unless it's absolutely necessary for them for what i am wearing i'd rather go for nude or gold that is one of the few things in black that i absolutely love i think it has something to do with the pearls that just make it still very very feminine very very cute uh, i still have a ticket for that gala that i went to i always reach for this one so i've been praying that i would run into zara and find it also in the white color but wasn't successful. A few weeks ago, I was shooting with Monroe um, by the library, by the New York Public Library. And then I happened to go to go to another story because they have an, an other story there. I walked in and this bag was the first thing that I saw. As soon as I walked in, I saw this bag and I fell in love. I wish it had the lining kind of like the same as the black one over here but it does not have the lining but i'm not mad at it this is a dust bag that it came with and yeah it's so so perfect now for all my white looks and as you can see side by side the white one is a tiny tiny bit bigger very very small honestly and i think that's because it doesn't have a lining that's probably why it looks a little bit bigger, but I would say they're like the same exact size. Um, yeah, they're like the same exact size. Got the pearls on these. And I think this one, the handle have more pearls than this one does. But I love, love this bag so much. I love, love this bag so much. I don't know if it's still available at in other stories. If it is, then I will link it below if it isn't then I'll find something on Amazon again when I was looking for a white pearl bag I went on Amazon um there were a few options but nothing was like this one I wanted the exact same one that I have in the black so I'm so happy that I waited and that's one thing I've learned I've learned not to kind of like settle not only in relationship but really in my fashion choices as well if I'm looking for something particular even though I see other things that are like similar to it I will not buy it I would rather wait because I you know sometimes believe that it's going to show up in my life somehow I know I'm getting so deep for something so vain as a bag but <laughs> I don't know guys I'm a fashion girl so what can I say but yeah, I love, love this. Now, every time I go somewhere, I reach for this bag. I am in love. It goes with everything. And my latest pic that I posted on Instagram, I was carrying this bag. It's so, so cute. Now we are going to move on to shoes. For shoes, what I really want to show you guys are some boots that I've, need, that, that I've been needing in my closet. I'm looking for the perfect pair of boots to kind of like wear with all my outfits, whether I am 
dress casually or dressy thank goodness for mongo mongo is <laughs> she's like the ultimate fashion girl if you are looking for any every any item that you're looking for she probably have a recommendation or a link for it i was looking for some boots she sent me the link to the nine west boots and i was like mm, i'm not sure and then i walked into macy's i tried them on and i fell in love i ended up buying them in three colors i know it's a little bit excessive but i may get two other pair i may get another pair of the taupe one for backups because it's only been less than a month and i've worn these to death as you can see there's already watermark because i made the mistake of not spraying my boots I meant to get the rain guard to spray them before I started wearing them to kind of like make them water resistant and all that stuff. So I will definitely be buying another pair of these. This is because of my lotion that I have in my legs. If I cross my legs, so it kind of like get the stains on here. That's why it looks dirty, but it's really just kind of like lotion and body oil that's on the like edges. These boots, I would say they want a little bit small, go like a full size up. Typically, I am a size 6, so I went a size 7 on these, and they fit, they fit me perfectly. I don't even have to double on my socks. I can if I want to, but you don't need to. And the heel is so, so perfect. I believe this is like 3.5 inches, and you can walk in them all day. I've been wearing these boots all week since I got back from Miami, which was Tuesday and Wednesday. I wore these to work on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today I wore them every day. And... You can last in them all day working around. I do have a very high, high heel tolerance, I guess. I don't like wearing flats. Flats actually hurt my feet when I wear it. I actually have to wear kind of like wear heels all the time. It's very few times that I wear flats. And if I do, it's for like a couple of hours or so. Or I get really bored of them really fast. They start hurting my feet. So weird, I know. Comfortable if you're um, thinking about comfort. I would definitely definitely recommend this. so I really really love this color although it looks a little bit more cognac -y on the website it's less cognac in person um, than than it shows on the website I guess it's probably like editing and stuff I also got them in a black although I don't wear a lot of black accessories I know um, I will have a need for some black boots they don't go over your knees they're like knee high length and they go perfectly I am 5'3 so they get right um yeah right next to my my knees i would say and they're like the perfect length the perfect height so so i will also want them in the black leather i do think sometimes knee high boots in leather and in the color black can look a little bit hookerish i needed to go for the suede for now and i'm still thinking about getting the leather because I think sometimes if you want something that's a little bit more dressy, leather is probably the way to go. And I could probably just dress them a little bit more feminine. I got the black also in a size 7. I've worn these a couple of times, maybe just once. Not a lot of things goes with this in my wardrobe, I would say. Like, unless it's like a little dress like this that I can wear with, um, with the black one. So I needed them in the white. Again, when I was in DC, Deb had a pair of white boots. I tried them on and I was like, how come I don't have a pair of white boots because I need them in my closet? Most, half of the other things that don't go with the nude boot goes with a white boot because I do wear a lot of creams and whites. I needed those boots so badly in my wardrobe. I did not know I needed them so badly. Actually, the day they came in, I wore them that same night to go out because they kind of like match my outfit. This is the leather in the white. It's kind of like an off-white color. It's not like super, super white. It's so, so perfect. I want a full size on all three of them. I'm going to get another pair in the taupe color for backup for next year because I know once I like something, I really, really love it and I don't mind wearing it for like a few years. Also, they're always on sale. They're like 50% off. Plus, you get an extra 15% if you sign up for the rewards program. So, that's so, so perfect. Some other shoes that I bought are these pair of nude shoes. You guys know I am a blogger, so I shoot a lot of content for Instagram. And one thing that I find sometimes that I need a nice pair of high heeled sandals or um, shoes that look good with my dresses sometimes. I do find 
all the shoes that I was wearing in 2018 are kind of a little bit grainy-ish. The heel are like two two inches or one and a half inches. When I take pictures sometimes, it, it's not as cute as if, if it would if I took pictures in some really nice pair of high heels. So I saw these at Macy's. They're like Steve Madden. I got a size 6 and I've been wearing them every time I shoot something guys. They go with all my outfits obviously because they are nudes. And I think they're about four and a half inches and they're so perfect. They're super comfortable too. They're not bad at all. I really, really love these. I don't know if those are still available, but I will check their website. If they are, then I will link them below if you guys want to check them out. But they're like the perfect shoes that you can pair with all your outfits if you're going on a date or something. Even if it's cold out, I still wear these in the winter if I'm going to like a party. Um, because if I'm just getting in an Uber and coming back out, you're fine. And most people drive anyway, so you will be fine. So now let's move on to clothes. For clothing, the Frankie Shop. The Frankie Shop is a cult favorite. All the cool girls on Instagram wear the Frankie Shop because they have this kind of like oversized blazers that just look so cool and so cute. I need to get myself, um one blazer but I'm kind of like still debating since I'm moving my wardrobe to something a little bit more feminine I don't know if I want I'm I still love a blazer you guys know I am a blazer freak like I I collect blazers I love blazers even in the summertime I still wear my blazers I'm not sure yet which one to go for and the blazers I still feel like they will come out with something that's even more perfect so I'm kind of like waiting again that's what I'm telling you guys not to settle for things and kind of like wait until you find the perfect thing so I walked into their shop they have a shop on the Lower East Side right next to the Ludlow Hotel or Sweet Chick me and my client we got done shooting in the Lower East Side when we were shooting and then we went for brunch at Sweet Chick I always get the shrimp and grits oh my goodness amazing I was like okay let me just go to the Frankie shop and check out to see if they have something that I made like big mistake I should not have gone in there so I walked in and I really love their shopping bag the shopping bag it's super super cool and it says Frankie shop on the handle over here I walked in I saw these leather shorts almost culottes and a cognac or i would say in like a dark camel color i know i wouldn't like it so you know sometimes when you know you're not going to like something and then you try it on because you know you're not gonna buy it because it's not necessarily it's your style but not necessarily something that you would go for that was my thinking until i tried them on and i was like what they are coming with me because i need to have these they are so perfect you guys i'll try them on for you and i was wearing those boots that day and they match the boots so perfectly oops i was like okay these are coming with me i have to buy to buy these so let's see the description full leather pleated trousers short and brown i got a size medium the small would have fitted me as well i don't know why i'm buying shorts i think these are piece where if i am going to fashion week where i want to wear something a little bit more cool or if i'm going to like an event where i want to wear something like out there a little bit when it comes to my style because my style is like very very safe and i thought these pair of leather trousers would be so perfect and also i think i would wear them on my own the color is so so perfect they're a little bit they aren't that much, honestly. They're like $115. If you know Frankie Shop, their prices. I have to get them out of the bag. What I'm, I'm just gonna do a monochromatic look with them because you guys know me. I am the monochromatic queen, and I don't like to think about my outfits, which is why all the colors in my closet kind of like goes together because I don't have to think about it and still look chic. And another store that I've been obsessed with is. Oak and Ford. If you go to Oak and Ford Instagram, everything is my style, my aesthetic. Uh, I'm starting to hate that word so much because it's used so many times, but I don't care. I'm basic. Whatever. Yeah, I love Oak and Ford. I just love their whole ethos. The whole vibe is very neutral, and you guys know I love my neutral. It's perfect for me. I was on a no buy January until I walked in there today. Um, after shooting with Manuel, I walked in there. 
just to look at this blanket and the next thing you know I'm walking out with two things those are things that I really really need in my wardrobe I wanted to try on the skirt that I really really like because I was wearing this dress I didn't have a top on so the girl bought me a top to try on with the dresses and then I ended up falling in love with the top. It wasn't black, but I asked her if they had another color. They did. I ended up getting this. This is a nice little tank. It's in a very, very nice, thick material. As soon as I put it on, you know, sometimes when you're shopping, you put something on and then you're like, wow, I did not know how much I needed this. I need tank like this because most of my camis are a little bit on the looser side and then when they're on the looser side if I put a blazer on top of it sometime it kind of makes me look bigger than I am because of my breast so I've been needing something that is very good material that still look very chic at the same time it's a little bit bodycon to hug in the right places so when I put a blazer on top it still look very very chic I put it on to try on the skirts and I fell in love with it so I ended up going with the cream color because that's the color that I would wear the most not the black one this one is so so perfect and this is only one size only it doesn't comes in different sizes $24 it's very very good for the quality that when you feel it it's very very lovely So I tried on the skirt, the skirt that I thought that I liked, I tried it on, I wasn't a big fan of the material. I asked her if they had it in a cream color, she said no, but then again, I walked over to the sales section and found this one and I was super super excited because this is in a silky material which is even better. I don't like this pleated skirt, I wish it was more voluminous but that's okay. I could do without the volume but this skirt is so chic, so classy, so so pretty. This was originally $88 and is currently on sale for $58. I love this so much. This has... I got a size medium in this one because this one has a zipper. If it was just an elastic, it does have some elastic in the back also to give you some leeway. Because it's a zipper, I thought I would go with the medium just in case. And it fits so, so perfectly. This, I was thinking about wearing it with my white boots and a cream sweater. And also with this... Uh, with this pearl bag or I was thinking of wearing of pairing it with that same top that I got today and pop on a blazer but I don't really have a cream blazer so I'm in the market now for a cream blazer very very excited with my purchases today although I am on a no buy January I think this was worth it continuing with fork and fort you guys know slip dresses are one of my favorite things to to wear especially in the summertime and also especially for like going out at night on dates or parties and all that stuff so I've been in the market for a nice champagne color when I saw this I had to have it it's, this one is super super long um, it's kind of like ankle length on me but I love it it's super classy it's super chic it's in the perfect material and I think it hugs my body really nicely. Um, I got a size large because I didn't want it to be too tight. I did try on the medium also in the store, but I ended up liking the large on me better because I like a little bit of room to breathe. I really, really love this. And whilst I was in the store, they also have it in this green color. I am trying to collect slip dresses in every color under the sun. I also, I already have it in the yellow, green, pink, black, I don't remember, I have so many colors to the dresses. I saw this green color, sage, the color that I've been obsessed with right now is sage or mid green. I am just being obsessed. I don't know what it is. This color, I also had to have it. They didn't have a large in the store, so I ended up ordering it on the website. This dress came in a few days ago. Love it. I cannot wait to wear this. I haven't worn this one yet. I won this, um, the champagne one. When did I wear that one? New Year's? I'm excited to wear this green one very, very soon. I may wear it next week. The J. Crew. Those are like my favorite pants to buy. Those are like this linen straight leg pants. This was on sale. I already have this in the navy blue. I have it in this oatmeal color. Also have it in the white. 
when I saw this color, I thought this would be perfect for spraying a lilac color, especially for when I go on vacation. Whenever I travel, these are the pants that I usually wear to the airport because they're like super, super comfortable and also super chic. When I saw this color, I thought, you know what, it's super cheap. Why not get this one as well? In the spring when I'm traveling, I can wear this to the airport and I can also wear this as an outfit. Also, I ordered these white jeans these are a little bit too big for me they're 25 i need to get like a 24. should have returned them and ordered a new pair but i think if i wash them and dry them they will just shrink a little bit i'll just skip them because the white pair of jeans that i have i don't know i don't really like them so i thought i would get this one another thing from jayku is this pink slip skirt i got an extra small i could have gotten the extra extra small because there is one like large a little bit i just love this i paired it with my saison sweater and oh my goodness it was so so nice i really really love this pink skirt it's so so pretty i love it everyone need a slip skirt since you guys have been kind of like screaming that i need another color coat so i decided to get this one this gray is not really my favorite color uniqlo and this was cheap enough i was like i'll just buy this although this one is a little bit too big i should have gotten they didn't have my size i would get this one for the times where i am wearing something gray or all black i think this would go really really well I don't know if they still have this coat on the website but i'll check and and maybe find you guys something similar it's like a very simple gray coat gray is not my favorite color now that washes me out a little bit doesn't do anything for my complexion or fluffy sweaters i saw this sweater on think nostrum.com it was only like 25 bucks plus i had a coupon for like ten dollars i needed something like this because i do have in the white do have this in the white color but I think sometimes I need something a little bit of a color and the color that I always go for is a burnt orange or cognac-y color. I saw this, I had to have it. This is a simple sweater every day. I also have this in this fluffy white color from TJ Maxx. Don't know if I featured this on my last haul. Another item that I have been on the market for is some pair of wide leg pants i got from vince camuto via macy's oh my goodness i you know sometimes when you buy something like i just said earlier and then you didn't know how much you needed them these pants are so so nice it's so hard for me finding wide leg pants because they ended up being way too big because i don't have much curve on the bottom that swallows me so these are like perfect i got these in a size zero they do run a little bit big or i could say true to size because the zero fits me i love these pants because the silky material although the material is polyester but because it's a silky material it just look so chic so dressy this is these are like the perfect white leg pants that i didn't know i needed but that i knew that i needed in my wardrobe I think that's it for what I bought. A gifted item. I got this beautiful skirt with all this print from Anthropology. I did a collaboration with them where I got to pick out a few looks and this was my favorite look out of everything that I picked out. It's this beautiful beautiful skirt. I have a video of it on my Instagram. We'll see how it looks on me on the pictures and also on here. I love love this skirt so much this is what i paired with i picked out this beautiful camel sweater um it has this beautiful bow on the back it's so so pretty i paired it with the skirt and this outfit was such a hit everyone loved and loved it I do have a couple of home stuff on this haul as well i used to do home decor hauls all the time back in the days when I had first moved to my last apartment or the one before as well so I thought I would share it with you guys what I got. I've been in the market for Greek bust to create content and also I know I'm going to be needing it down the line. I walked into H&M they have the half head vase and oh my goodness it's so so beautiful I'm like I had to have it this was $30 and I think it's worth every penny. 
I put my dead baby's breath on it and it's so so perfect this you can put it on your shelf you can put it use it as a vase to just put your flowers and all that stuff I really 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 love this it's so so perfect I also need some right now I have two decorative pillow on my bed and I thought that I needed a third one because I feel like it was it, it didn't look as cozy as it could. I got this one. I've been going to H&M Home all the time. They do have H&M Home in the H&M in Howard Square and also the one on 42nd Street and 5th Avenue. That's one I used to go to but the one in Howard Square is the best one for H&M Home. It has everything. I've been going there trying to look for something that can like, catch my eyes but nothing was catching my eyes until yesterday when I walked in. I saw this one. They also have this one in a vase. I wanted the vase, but I don't really have any use for it. So I'm not, I'm not gonna buy things that I don't have any use for. I really, really love this. This is so cute. It's kind of like a half a face. And I really love the beauty mark. I love this. So I got the insert. The insert is $6.99. It's a 16 by 16. And then I got the cover as well. I got this cover to put in it. I may get another cover of this because I think it would be super cute. Also, you guys know I have my little makeup area by the window. I have this little bench, not only really bench thing, little stool. It has some fur on top of it that I got from Home Goods um, a couple of years ago. And I also do have another H&M Home. I got one of those on top of it, which is white. And this was on sale. And I thought maybe to inject some color in my room, I would get this one. And I'm really happy that I did because it kind of like elevated me a little bit. Also, I had a marble tray where I take pictures for my beauty content or jewelry and all that good stuff. It fell, it broke. I think when I was moving and I've been on the market for a new one. So again, for yesterday when I was at H&M Home, I saw this one. And I had to have it because this one is not like rectangle or square like all the other ones. And it doesn't have the edges around it. This is just like so, so perfect. This was $25. And I think not like very, very perfect for me. I did get a rug from H&M Home because I gave Vanessa my other one. So it's right on the floor. So I'll just pin so I can show you guys a new rug or maybe you'll see it on the vlog. Although I'm not sure I want to continue vlogging, I think it's going to be the end. I'm still deciding. That's why I haven't, you know, said anything yet. I still, I'm still deciding. I don't think I want to vlog my every day. I'm just going to keep, although I already keep my private life private, but I want to keep my private life even more private. I don't think I want to vlog my every day anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure I, uh... I want to do that anymore. I think I want to keep my content strictly fashion, food, lifestyle, beauty, and all that good stuff. Uh, maybe I'll vlog when I travel, just in case if you guys are interested uh, traveling to that place. And also for me too, I love travel vlogs because I love going back to my old travel vlogs and then see the places that I've been. Really the vlogs, I do them for myself, although I get to share them with you guys, some of you get to enjoy them. But really, when it comes to vlogs, I do them for myself because I really love to look back and see where I was at that point of my life. I really, really love documenting some part of my life. But I think I've come to conclusion that I do want to keep my, my private life private. I already share a lot with you guys when it comes to like fashion, beauty and stuff. So yeah, I'm still deciding. Don't know yet, but... Um, I guess you know it remains to be seen last category is beauty so for beauty you guys know um, sleepy from lush is my favorite lotion in the entire world I need a lifetime supply of sleepy lush if you if you hear me please sign me up I love this lotion so much um, just because it's called sleepy doesn't mean you only wear this when you go to bed when I go to bed I don't like to have lotion on my skin anyways Actually, I cannot go to bed without taking a shower. If I have any product on my skin, I cannot sleep. It's so weird. My skin has to be clean before I go to bed. The only place that I can have products in um, before I go to bed is my face. 
any other parts of my body has to be squeaky clean I stopped yesterday to get this lotion I feel like I have I buy a bottle once a month that's how much I love this stuff I run out of it so so fast I felt like I just bought um one the other day already ran out so I got this one yesterday well I went to Sephora to get uh, my facial if you guys didn't know every time you spend $75 at Sephora you get a free facial not all the store have it, so make sure if you're going to spend that kind of money, you go into a store that have, that have that service. And also make sure that it's a day where you can go home after and you're not going to do anything because it defeats the purpose of you getting a facial and then you go home and put a bunch of makeup. Whenever I do the facial, it's usually when I'm off work and I know I'm coming home and not going back out for the rest of the day. I usually have a list of my head of what I am going to be buying. I get my free facials, although I'll be getting a new facial very, very soon, which I'll be documenting for you guys. Another thing that I wanted to try is the Dior concealer because I already have the foundation. This is a Dior Skin Forever undercover. You guys know I already have the foundation. My shade is four and a half warm. So I thought I would get their concealer. My shade in this one is 050 Beige Francais, Dark Beige. I think this one is a better color for me when I get a little bit of tan. Maybe in the summertime, this will be perfect right now. And I feel like I'm almost too close to my skin tone. It doesn't really give me that kind of like highlight that I get with the Chanel one because the Chanel one is a little bit on the lighter side and I get the perfect highlight with that one. I got this one. I have yet to try I'll be trying it soon and maybe letting you guys know how I like it. And also, I'm going to be doing a video where I do battle of the luxury foundations where I'm, I'll be comparing YSL, Dior, and the Chanel one. I already know which one is going to win. But... You never know, maybe I may change my mind. So I make I have to make sure now I have to get the YSL concealer because I'll be pairing the Chanel foundation with the Chanel concealer and Dior Dior and vice versa and so on. And I kinda went him and so for not really, I only got like four lipsticks from ABH. ABH has I don't know, I've just been obsessed with the liquid lipsticks as of late. So I got a few colors. So I got Maud, which is the one that's on my lips today. No, no, no. Sorry. What's on my lips today is Ashton. I love Ashton. Yesterday I wore Maud, and my goodness, so, so beautiful. I love it. This one is kind of like a darker Ashton. And also Seraphine, which is my ultimate red. You guys always ask me what color I have on my lips when I wear the red one. It's always Anastasia Beverly Hills, Seraphine. It's actually sold out most everywhere, so I've been on the hunt for it because I misplaced my other one. I cannot find it, so I need to make sure I find it. My favorite mascara of all time is a Tartist by Tarte. I made sure to replenish on this one because I ran out. I love this mascara. Another thing that I got is the Stila Waterproof All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing eyeshadows. When I wear eyeshadows, I don't really wear, um, I don't do a ring liner. Guys, that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know which piece or which item was your favorite. Let me know if you're on a no buy January and if you already caved in and bought something. I know I already did with what I bought today, so I have to do better. I'm gonna stay my mom in the house and not go out because I think my problem is going out. As soon as I'm out, it's just like, it's really hard to control myself. <laughs> Time for the giveaway. Um, you guys know I am on the PR list for Pixie. Pixie is one of my favorite brands ever. So they, sent, they are celebrating 20 years of glow. So they sent me this beautiful, this beautiful package that has a bunch of the products all these products i already have them they already sent them to me i thought why not gift one of you this beautiful beautiful package this one is the rose ceramic cream pick glow tonic which is an icon the glow mist and this is one of my favorite palette ever from pixie so it's called the eye reflection shadow palette and i love this palette so much you would have heard me talk about this palette in my previous vlogs, this is their Silky Eye Pen. I love this eye pencil. Liquid Lipstick, Liquid Max, and 
giveaway it's in the US only all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my YouTube channel follow me on Instagram at dadu chic um, you don't even have to follow me on Twitter I don't really care because Twitter is really like my personal page really a little bit personal where I just you know get my entertainment that's about it guys all you have to do is really three things well four things now <laughs> follow me on Instagram follow, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video and leave me a comment about your favorite item that I featured in this haul that's about it for you to enter and then I will announce the winner it's going to be announced via I'll announce the winner on the, in the comments section so be sure to look out for that thank you so much for watching this video subscribe if you're not subscribed yet like this video and also follow me on instagram at daddy chic thank you again so much for watching guys i will catch you in my next one bye bye